Hello, 19 subscribers. Welcome back to another Rec Room video. This is going to be episode 9 of the Let's Play. Last time what we did was Rec Royale, and this time we will be doing the Golden Trophy Quest. So, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get a bow. Alright. One person getting a bow. I don't know if Mad is getting a bow. Get a bow. Okay, I don't know what uh Mad Demonoid is doing. Okay, looks like Mad has gotten his weapons now, so now we can all just get on the platform. Hopefully. Right, I'll turn on the voices. See what they're saying. You have A and B. You have A and B. Oh. And on the yeah, link yeah. you X and I. But it's on the other Okay, that's not English. I'm just going to hope they can all get on the platform. Okay. Well, I suppose I'm not really having a disadvantage for not having my microphone on because it doesn't seem like any of them speak English anyway. So I did this. I started trying to complete this quest on episode one of the Let's Play, but I never actually finished it. It was actually the weekly challenge for this week's weekly challenges. I already completed the weekly challenges for this week, but I'm just replaying this quest. Also, I'll tell you now, they have a new quest coming out on November 15th that I will be definitely, I'll definitely be playing and recording it for this channel. It's, it has an interesting weapons. It's coming out, what, I to say Thursday, it's coming out. Like we got that taken care of pretty easily. Someone got the crossbow, so sorry to Sponge for getting the crossbow. Try not to get hit. Um, it's the same as Jumbotron. You can use your weapons as a shield. It'll just disarm them. They actually have an official shield in the game. But you would normally only use them when you have a sword. Alright, there's another wave. Take that out. So I do know a lot of the spawns. That's why I think a new quest would be interesting. So I have a whole new quest to have to play. It's going to be a lot more, a lot less artificial. It's more like an ad an adventure, really. Okay. Sponge has a friend request. Um, I'll show you now. I have a lot of friends. I just friend anyone who asks, and I ask a lot of people for friend requests just to see how long of a friends list I can get. Yesterday I played. Back home with Jake, the same Jake from the Minecraft videos. So that was interesting. He won't be able to do that. That was just a one time thing. He doesn't actually have. Well, actually, oh. They might be bringing. Um. They might be bringing Raccoon to Xbox. If they do, then he might be able to play Raccoon with me, and I'll be able to record it like I did for Minecraft. But I wouldn't expect it. Because I can't verify if they're actually going to record Raccoon on Mine on uh, Xbox, because that's what he has. Right now it's only on PlayStation and PC. Okay, so what about, 
don't know. Golden Trophy is definitely the easiest quest. I'd say we're maybe like a bit less than halfway through the quest. Maybe uh, once we finish this act, we'll be about halfway through. There's a glitch in the game where it's called double tapping. You can. Okay. You can pull the bow back. That's not safe. You can pull the bow back and shoot two arrows like that. But I'm not very good at it. So I don't normally do it. I normally just do it the way it is intended. Because I'm not good at aiming. But you have to like pull the arrow back quickly. And then you can shoot too, like that. But I, like I said, I don't do it that much. So you can see I'm not very good at aiming with it. And we have some guards here that I didn't notice. Best way to take them out. Oh. Best way to take them out is with the bow. Looks like there's a glitch now where you can. You can walk when you're. out and just hit those people in the back with the sword okay that's probably the easiest way to take them out not with a bow all right that was a, a lot we might be able to complete the quest on our first try you know i don't actually know if sponge um the the guy with all yellow on. I don't actually know if he speaks English or not. I know these two do, but I don't know about Sponge. He either doesn't have a microphone. Oh no, you can check now, actually. No, he does have a microphone, because if he didn't, it would say there that he doesn't have a microphone on. Um, so he does have a microphone. I, I don't think he speaks English, though. To die, this is a powerful one. Three shots to take that out. Other. Get all the floating arrows because when I shoot the pots, they disappear. So it's the same as. Look, this guy. I can. The other players in this room can see the audio waves coming out of my mouth, but it won't actually, they won't actually hear me speaking because I have my microphone turned off whenever I record videos. Try to do the double. And yeah, I can do it. Uh oh, that is not good. I think they might have accidentally activated the um, that area without me. They did. I should have told them somehow that they weren't supposed to do that. So now we have yeah, more from here. That's a lot of enemies. Once we take out these two flying ones. I think we'll almost be done. Now we finished. Okay. I thought there'd be another another wave. I guess they took them out. Okay. So just go back that way to the checkpoint. Not checkpoint, but the uh, lock. Everyone has to stand on these platforms before we go through the next door to make sure that no one gets left behind an extremely far distance of everyone else. Ow. Bad idea. Yeah. I try not to do that next time. If I can get their attention somehow without speaking. I'll use the uh, the. Hopefully they know where I am. 
That is it out, out, okay. Sponge, don't mess this up. Look, I guess Mad realized that he can move when he's out. Oh, I can move when I'm out, I forgot. Normally they have it that you can't move when you're out, so you just have to wait there for them to revive you, but I guess there's a glitch right now where you can move even when you're not supposed to once you get out. Which is normally something that you can only do in uh, custom rooms. It is kind of weird to move. You're not used to it. I should see if I can find a sword for this next enemy. There's... no, oh, this guy got it. Okay. Uh, there's... yeah. Alright, let's... I really wish I could tell these people that they could move. Okay, let's not do that. Yeah, these people... I think they can move. I think everyone here can move perfectly fine. I don't think anyone's trying to do it though. I think they just assumed, you know, here's Sponge. Sponge knows. Okay. The sponge has the sword, so he should be able to do it easily. Okay. So... Yeah, well that's gonna make it a lot easier to finish this quest. Now that we know we can... ...move whenever you want. Hopefully. Okay, what's the... There's the score, there's the time. Okay. Just got the next checkpoint, okay. I got a notification just before I went through that door, what is it? Okay. Ooh, I saw that coming. Okay. I think he knows for sure now that you can... There's another wave, there's two more spawning from the roof here. I think we have to take these out. Okay. Next wave. That is gonna be pretty cool for that next quest. Get that there, got it. Okay. Wave. Hmm. There's gonna be another wave behind these people. So they take out that wave spawn on top of that wave. And that's that's it for this room, I think. I think they took everything else out. There might be a red guy that spawns up there. I don't think so. Okay, this guy is definitely going to be the easiest to do. Because Sponge has a sword. I don't think he understands the need to use it. Okay, well I did it for him. That was kind of rude of me to just take his sword. Alright, is that the red guy from earlier? Or did they just shoot each other? Okay. There's another one. Yeah, Sponge has it. Down. Okay. Yeah, so that's everything. Just have this last area. One more stage. And then we complete the day.
Right. Oh, that's my fault. It's weird because now getting out, really all that happens is you are forced to drop your weapons and then you lose some uh, gold. You can't pick up any weapons until you until you get revived. So now that that was friendly fire. There's no way they could have died back there. Look, you can knock those people off the bridge, just into the lava. Not the red people though. Red people don't. They just keep moving once you shoot them. Because I have these swords here, I'll be able to take out any of these big enemies that spawn. Try to get some long distance shots. I got one. Ah, oh, I barely hit him there. Hm. I keep barely hitting him. There's that one from behind. Got one shot. Sponge has that one. Okay. Barely fell into the lava there. When, if you fall into the lava when you have walking mode on. Alright, well here's what I waited for. It's actually really easy to take them out as long as you have a sword. There's... yeah. I'll show you once I get up here. You can use the sword as a shield. It makes you drop it. Oh, that's my fault. Okay, for sponge. And you can use your corpse as a shield as well. Alright, well, crossbow, I guess. Wow. I feel bad. Like, I know I was supposed to do that, but I just feel bad for using the crossbow in the first place. I think my... My sh my uh, I forgot what it was called. My bow fell into the lava there. No, it might actually be a PC only glitch to be able to walk in the quest. Because the other ones aren't really taking advantage of it that much. More bows here. Alright, so this is the boss battle. I don't know if these people know what to do as far as the glitch goes. They need to get these shields. Oh, this was the weekly challenge, by the way. I did not revive him. Okay, well, these people. Hopefully Sponge knows what to do. Okay, I don't know what- um... I just hope they know what to do. There's a glitch. If one person holds shields, then they can just stand on one side of the boss and the other the archers can just take him out i don't think they know this though i don't feel comfortable being the one who has the shields either because okay if we can find a way to just hit him back and forth then that would also work We can just do it the way it was intended. It keeps going into the wall here. Okay, I guess there was someone under there. That's the guy I just revived. Yeah, I think this, like I think it is that everyone can revive. It's just I mean everyone can move whenever they want. Oh wow. 
That was close. Do I have any... any swords I could use? Okay, well, we did it anyway. Well, that was... Quest for the Golden Trophy. That's great, someone leveled up. Yeah, mad guy. Okay, so now, whenever you finish a quest, I think you saw this in the Jumbotron episode, each person gets a piece of clothing or tokens. Ready to start. So my chest got piece of clothing, a helmet, they got a hat, they got a helmet, I see what Mad got, they got a cape, okay, there was the results, it was a uh, meh, might as well see if I can hear Sponge. Je hebt hem niet aangedaan? Kan niet, moet ik voor level up. Oh, okay. Hey guys. Nice helmet. Great. Alright, so I guess they actually spoke both languages, so I didn't know that. Right, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, I'll be honest, I kind of disrespect Sponge now. I kind of, just because he uses crossbows. Press the start button on Anyone the who dual play. uses crossbows. I mean... It's fine, you don't have to. Anyway, that was the episode. If you liked it... No, let me do that once I get out of here. You don't... Oh, no, 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 I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this one more time. No, nope, I'm going. Okay. Do the streamer cam. I already got the weekly challenges right here. I'm gonna do the weekly challenges after, I mean the dailies after this video ends. To the streaming camera, and I'll do... on teleport, right there. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. If for some reason you liked this video, then you should watch my previous one, because it's just as, if not more boring than this one. That's the playlist, that's my channel, outro.